Welcome to Infinite Realms. Last week we pushed out the first beta of Infinite Realms 2022 and it uh, features a lot of new stuff like new tools, a new toolbar, a paint tool, um, a distance and line of sight tool and a lot of stuff under the hood. In this video I will tell you what is new in the new beta and how it works and uh, yeah, my name is Danny, let's do this. Okay, let's start with the uh, new tool menu we've implemented in the first beta of 2022. So right up here you see the new toolbar that uh, slips in from the top and the pre-selected tool on every map is the movement tool. And with this movement tool we combine all the movement options we had before. Um, you are still able to just use the arrow keys or the WASD keys to move on the map. But with the movement tool, you now also have the option to left drag the map. Uh, I'll have to close down the menu for that. This is just dragging. And yeah, let's get a bit around here. If I want to center on a special point on the map, just like this rock here, I just right click on it and the map will center on it. Whoop. Here we go. So this is the move tool. Ah yeah, and uh, the last feature of the move tool is that you can now, we had this in the past um, and we have just re-implemented it, that you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out of the map. And we still have other things. The distance and line of sight tool is also new. You can use this on 3D maps as well as 2D maps, but on 3D maps the line of sight also works. On 2D maps you have nothing that can block line of sight because you just have a canvas that works like a movie or like a picture. On 3D maps we have 3D objects and the 3D objects have colliders and these colliders can tell that the line of sight is blocked basically. So I click on any point and now we'll get this funny tool. It will tell us uh, on this marker what the distance is. It is currently in meters but in the future we will implement it that it can be translated to feet automatically in the settings. So um, this has a distance uh, value and it has a height value and the height value can be manipulated by just uh, using the mouse wheel. We can go from below 50 meters to positive 50 meters and this, as this is 3D space you can see on the perspective uh, yeah, uh, where, the, where the points are in 3D space. So um, once we click a second time uh, the second point will be fixed but we can still use the mouse wheel to set the height and uh, check the line of sight. You see this rock once it uh, interrupts the line of sight it gets red. Yeah you can uh, cancel the, the operation at any time with just pressing escape or uh, click another one uh, another time the right button uh, at the end to reset the tool. Okay, I'll just click tab again. You can also go to the bottom of the screen and click uh, the little icon that blends in there to uh, activate the menu anytime. And uh, the last new tool I have uh, to show you is the paint tool. This adds a new paint canvas that works basically the same as the Fog of War tool in the past. The Fog of War tool is uh, still there, no worries. Uh, but you have the options to use different colors and different shapes here. Um, the round shape is just a simple brush. You can paint with this uh, shape with different colors. I'll uh, just take a light blue and the normal round shape, close down the uh, menu and now I can scale the brush with the mouse wheel and paint on the canvas. And you see this is transparent. Um, in the current beta it works quite well on um, very bright maps. Um, with night settings it won't be that good um, but in the next beta I've implemented uh, three modes. You can uh, in the next beta you will be able to to uh, set this to an additive mode that just adds the color to the current background and this multiplies. This is bad on dark uh, backgrounds. On dark backgrounds the other option is better. It's just like a night mode and I'll also implement it um, for the second beta an opaque mode that just uh, draws opaque colors on, on the canvas and you can't see the background on it. So um, I just rub it away with a right click. Um, 
yeah, we also have shapes. And I'll do a dark gray shape, I'll take the pentagram, and you can just print them with clicking once anywhere. We just used it this weekend uh, to display a magic circle that uh, contained a demon. Uh, yeah, it was nice to have this tool finally available. On the Fog of War and Tools uh, tab, you now have the option to deactivate the canvas. So the canvas information will be saved in the background, but it just won't be displayed. So um, when you change from combat to exploration again, you can just deactivate the canvas, but the information is still there. And once you get back to com combat and you still need the information that was on the canvas, you can uh, activate it again or rub it away, what, what you don't need, and so on. So I'll activate it again, reset the canvas, that will wipe the whole canvas. And now I'll activate the Fog of War. Nothing new here, um, but the Fog of War tools, the two brush types are now also included into the new toolbar up here. Um, we have the Fog of War brush and it uh, works like just like the brush you saw. You can uh, hold the left mouse button and just clear any areas you want to clear. And with the right mouse button you can cover them again. Uh, you resize the brush with the mouse wheel and you also have the Fog of War Select tool and you will just uh, click on a point, hold and draw to uncover or with a right click cover again. Yeah, we also have the reset fog button here, you may know from the past. And yeah, that's basically it with the tools. We also added a few features that are quite under the hood. Um, the most prominent is that we added a new database backend. The old database solution that we used had some problems with certain firewall and router configurations with some of our uh, players and, um, and we decided to exchange it to a simpler model that doesn't have as much problems and works basically like HTTP pages. Uh, the second thing we added is a new point on the settings and it's a limit FPS settings here. It is, it is set to 60 FPS by default. That's everything you need basically for infinite RAMs. Um, you can also set it down to 30 FPS or you can set it to unlimited in case you have a great gaming monitor you want to have with 144 Hz or something. You can also put it to unlimited but we recommend uh, running infinite realms with a frame limit of 60 fps because this way you will save energy the computer will not get as hot um, if you run on a laptop the battery will be saved and yeah, it uh, doesn't have any drawbacks and uh, only advantages so that's that let's take a look at my notes uh, what did we also do yeah we fixed the bug on the fog of war it was possible before to to draw on the fog of war uh, when you wanted to access the menu and uh, yeah that was fixed. I hope you like the beta. Uh, if you have not tried out the beta yet and uh, have early access for Infinite Realms, um, I recommend trying it out. Uh, the next beta is already in the making. Uh, like I said, I, I already hinted at some uh, features of the new beta. I guess it will come out in something like uh, a week or, or three. I, I don't know. Um, we're not quite sure what we will implement. We have one feature, one new tool that may be uh, quite difficult to implement. If we decide to finally implement it into the next beta, it may take some time to get it out. But yeah, I guess you will see. And um, if you don't have early access for Infinite Realms and you want early access for Infinite Realms to level up your tabletop gaming with uh, the best tabletop gaming solution that there is for RPGs and wargaming, um, I recommend just uh, messaging Nina at nina at megavoid.de. Take a look at our frequently asked questions on our homepage infinite-rams.de. Uh, I'll also link it in the description. Uh, yeah, uh, just write to Nina that you uh, also want to have early access and uh, she can work out the solution with you. Uh, as we don't have a payment system implemented right now, we can work via PayPal or something. Um, yeah, if you're interested, just message Nina. Everything that remains for me to say is, yeah, have a nice day and have fun with infinite runs.